Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, young gentleman next to me, his name is Jay, and he does uh, talent production. So let's see if we can. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, now we even, right? Uh, uh, so uh, let's find out uh, how to have a talent uh, sign up and how to find gigs for the talent and uh, why the people who I'm on camera one. Uh, have the kind of I'm on camera. talent come to Jay. Tell, tell us about your operation. Well, my name is Jay the Promoter. Um, I also do a lot of talent booking and I work with a lot of musicians from New York, New Jersey, and the whole world. Um, wow. I work with, you know, musicians that are mostly rappers because, you know, rap is my favorite genre. Okay. And um, basically what I do is I have a, independent charts. So I find out who's the hottest in each state. Okay. And everybody goes ahead and they vote. And whoever hits the top number one, you know, they get offered promotion. How they, the promotion works? Like, um, why the clubs, uh, everybody needs a promotion, but how do they find the, uh, you know, a, a crowd? It's easy to get people to come to f free show, but when it's uh, time to pay for the show, it's not that easy to, do you need a, like, a, or someone really famous? To come there or like how do you build uh, the audience for the new uh, new talent well i mean it's all about the promoter the promoter got to develop their own brand okay you know that's number one if the promoter doesn't have their own audience their own brand then you're just relying on other artists and other people to fill up the club but, but how do you promote you do let's say 10 posts of, on facebook 10 on instagram like a, like wh what do you do why, why if someone call themselves a promoter and someone calls themselves uh, not a promoter like just because someone has a lot of people who follow them doesn't make them a promoter yeah. someone who has uh, you know promoter might not be a, a high vis visible person but he knows uh, high visible people who actually make uh, make the show like well, how do you because it's my understanding it comes from having the sponsors having the uh, you know the money if, uh, to build the production if you have to put up your mo your personal money every time you might not uh, you know m make it back how do you find the interesting venues that uh, you know willing to come in is that are like a, a new venue that has no following and then you have to move to the next one or it's a one venue that you consistently work with you develop a friendship or a relationship like i for example work with a skyrim for, for years H how does it work promotion well like as far as like promoting on social media and then getting to the clubs mm -hmm. um I, I never invested a dollar into any of my wow. personal promotion um it's been word of mouth so I do so many like good things for people, and I do a lot of free things too for people. Like what? Like I promote people that I think that are mm -hmm. nice. If I think that your bars are dope, and I think that you got some skills to touch the mic, and I like you personally, then I'm gonna promote you. So, so it has nothing to do with money. It's more like a, if you have mm -hmm. a relationship, if you're comfortable with a person, you will help a person. Yeah. But it's it's not everything could be bought with the uh, cash. Yeah, nah, I I don't do that. I mean. You, that that's not the right way to promote at all i mean somebody can give you a million dollars right of course you're gonna take it but really do they have the skills that are gonna compete with hip-hop today like mm -hmm. like no and that's what's going on with, with hip-hop today a lot of people are buying their fame and act, instead of actually gaining their fame so you um, know that's the problem what is the key in uh, mm -hmm. finding the talent that will go far uh Everybody, every promoter wants to find the new Michael Jackson, the new Madonna, like some, the new next Lady Gaga. Like, w like, what do you look in the person? Like education, the uh, uh, it at a uh, moment. Like, uh, how how do you find and the you know or the the person who might have the A list celebrity at some point? I mean, first you have to have that creative talent you got to be different there has to be something that's going to make you different from everybody else second you're going to need good production like i'm really key on that if your production sounds like you recording in somebody's basement in the bathroom somewhere 
it's not gonna sound good, right? Okay. <laughs> so Some, you know. sometimes little videos on cell phone is still working, get yeah. millions of views on yeah. on YouTube. Like in my case, uh, I have a little bit of system, so I I do let's say so many messages. Let's say Facebook, let me do let's say fifty messages a day. Then I do fifty messages on Instagram, and I prospect uh, like on Twitter, in, in like uh, pin interest, and like so many other platforms. So LinkedIn, so consistency. And the following up and the building always new 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 uh, you know crowd like new new guests it builds the channel and at some point builds the, uh, the following and, and i know that when i'm promoting an event mm -hmm. i actually uh, can rely on people who consistently come to to film with me let's say my, my crew i done hundreds of gigs with like Anelli and patrick and you know many people who helping me out today in production they've been with me for a while and uh, I, I, I try to be part of uh, someone else, like uh, other folks that I uh, have respect, uh, be a part of their production. Like I come to the art, heart, fashion, week, uh, style, uh, couture, th th those places consistently. So they know they can rely on me. Like Brooklyn Fashion Week, like last week we filmed like twice with the Rick Davies. So, uh, so those kind of relationships uh, build up and you know that you can rely on influential people around you to bring crowd to you so you don't have to do all the work by yourself but you can assign okay you do this you do this you you bring that many people and uh, all together we as a group we promote event do you collaborate with other promoters or it's like everybody for themselves i do all the promotion by myself so like, you don't, you don't I, have part i don't need yeah i don't need any artist to bring out nobody like wow. at all like don't bring you you could bring your girlfriend mm -hmm. but you don't need to bring people because wow. why you got to bring people? It's your job. That's the promoter's job. You gotcha. know, that's what we do. You're here to meet a new audience, not your friends and family. You know, gotcha. so and that's what happens. Like if you do these little showcases and rely on the artist to sell the tickets, they're really not going to bring the people that you want to come out. So the people that I bring out are just people who just naturally follow me. They just naturally like what I say. They're like. There, we're like eye to eye, you know. My fans, we're we're here, you know. Wow. My my friends, I call them my hunnids. Wow, that they got, you know, they let, let, wait, they wait, wait, are. Wait, let me oh, fix your mic. All right, all right. Well, I call them my hunnids, you know, and that means that they want honey with me. I go after the tourist market. We are both in New York, yeah. And uh, uh, there are millions of tourists come every week to New York, mm -hmm. and they come with their money, and they have nothing to. Well, they have things to do in New York, but they don't know where to go, which party to attend. They have free time. They have a little bit of money to spend on vacation, and uh, uh, the key for me to tap into those markets, like the people who come from France or Germany or from uh, Italy, from all the other countries in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I? Like for me, I build the pages for each country, right? Mm. And I build that page. So whenever I have an event, I promote on that page, uh, that country event. And the people who are, have some kind of connection to that country and th that city, let's say it's a Boston or a Chicago. And when they come to New York, they have uh, ability to find out, oh, there is a show that relates to my town, to my city, to my country. Uh, so I, I, but you know, is there a way to tap into the, uh, tourism market uh, to prom when you promote uh, events it would be nice to have like people come you know see the Broadway show they come to see Carnegie Hall show how do they how can they find out about your production and about your promotions I mean that's a good strategy you got there I definitely like that one I might I might have to tap into that but uh I mean if they want to find out about I got like a huge email list I, I always tell people build your email list mm -hmm. because that's real key um, a lot of people like you know they like looking at their emails every mm -hmm. I don't know how many how many times do you look at it I mean a million right, right? so I mean I know I do um, but if you but it has to be too eye many, too many the, at some point they block you and the, you know what's the yeah, num number send. of decent emails if you send 50 emails a day <laughs> probably a person will <laughs> Yeah, point, that's uh, that's just spam right there. I mean, you know, the the right email is, you know, it has to be eye catching. It has <laughs> to be something that's going to, you know, touch them personally. And okay. then, and if you're not actually in a personal contact with them, then they're really not going to you know, care about what you're saying. But if you have that connection with them, 
you know they're gonna be we, there with you. Uh, it's your first time here, at Brick. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, it's, nice. wins, it's a decent studio. It's free. Yeah. It's wonderful. You know, nice cameras. So maybe we can promote and do uh, some fun uh, show yeah. here. Yeah. In this particular studio, we can mic up to twenty six, uh, you know, instruments. So it could be the whole orchestra uh, yeah. performance here. This is beautiful. Uh, tell the audience how they can reach out to you. What's your in social media? I'm Jay Davila. J A Y D A V I L A. Um, I'm at One Mic Music on Instagram. I'm not usually on that thing though. Instagram is I don't know. I don't have a million pictures for you guys. Um, I'm more on Facebook. Facebook guy. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can go to OneMicMusic.com. The number one M I C Music.com. Um, but yeah, I'm always on Facebook. It's always on. Um, my family be telling me calm down with it, but this is a million people I gotta talk to every day. So hey, that's how it is. Thank you, and you brought your wife to help you. <laughs> yes, today. yes, yes. That is my manager. Got to keep everything in the family, you know. Cool. Thank you, guys. Oh, Cut. Wow. Good job, man. Hey, man, it was nice. Uh, looking good. Okay, let's. Looking